Mr. Speaker, earlier this week, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change published their most recent report, described as an atlas of human suffering and a damning indictment of failed climate leadership. Yesterday, 126 environmental and citizens groups and academics called on the federal government to now reject Bédou Nord, a proposed massive new deep water oil drilling project owned by a foreign company looking to extract up to a billion barrels of oil, equivalent to running a hundred coal-fired power plants for a year. A response is due Sunday. Will the minister commit to rejecting this climate disaster? The Honourable Minister. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. And as I shared with our block colleague uh, a little earlier, we are following a legislated uh, process uh, on this very important decision. And, uh, and Mr. Speaker, as I said, uh, we're reviewing all the evidence, including the impact assessment agency's environmental assessment report. I think the honorable member will be uh, very happy to know our government conducts uh, impact assessments using fair and predictable processes that are grounded in science and indi indigenous traditional knowledge. And as I said, that decision will be made in 